Hello there everyone. Uh, wasn't really planning on making a video, but uh, I thought this this would be fun. I uh, hope you've all had a good Christmas. It's um, the 27th when I'm recording this and probably when I'm uploading this, but uh, you know, I figured it would be fun to uh, basically show you all my terrible purchasing decisions. So, um, I uh, we, we tend not to really do gifts in uh, in my in my house, uh, in my family, um, but that doesn't mean that we don't buy a stupid amount of things during the Christmas sale, um, which is of course just an excuse to suck us off a tremendous amount of cash. So uh, the one thing I'm not going to be able to show you is the new coffee grinder I bought, which was obviously um, expensive because that's that's how electronic um, coffee grinders be, um, and I'm not going to go and log that in uh, <laughs> just for the sake of showing you, but um, maybe I'll put in a stock image editor me, remember? Stock image. There we go, okay. So we've done, uh, no, right, okay. So. Okay, so let's get started, and uh, but there are basically three um, kind of different things. We'll start with the most boring one, I suppose, um, and that is this. So this is probably the most sensible purchase I made, um, which is a, a copy of Ring Fit Adventure. Um, I uh, am I'm pretty bad at uh, at sort of taking care of myself in the uh, in the exercisey kind of way. Uh, I'll, I'll like go through periods where I like I'm really good and I'm working out every day, and then I'll go through periods where I basically do nothing for like nine months. So um, I I figured uh, some sort of way to at least gamify it and make it. Um, a little more fun for me might keep me involved and in actually, you know, doing it. So I'm gonna try and play this every day for at least 30 minutes, um, which doesn't really sound like a lot, but from what I've been told by my friends who have this game, um, this is gonna make me want death very quickly. So uh, that's probably a realistic uh, goal. I'm, I mean, it's just a bunch of plastic and the bits and pieces here. Um, a strap, I assume, for one of the Joy-Cons. And then this is the whole the whole ring setup for the other one. Uh, it's actually uh, it's actually quite high quality, to be honest. Um, that's that's not breaking. That's that's strong. Wow. Yeah. Um, I can see how this might be quite the workout <laughs> um, already. Uh, and then yeah, there's the game. I don't think there's anything special in here, but I'll go ahead and crack it open anyway, just in case there is. Um, this is the most boring one, as I said. Um, but yeah, this is just to make sure I don't die of heart disease before I'm like 30. It's a general rule. Something I'd like to avoid, dying before I'm 30. Yeah, just a, just a copy of the game. Okay, so that's the boring thing. Uh, next, let's do this. So, this is some YouTuber merch. Um, and there are, most of you actually do probably, uh, they're quite a famous channel, so most of you probably do recognise this, but... Um, this is uh, a channel I've been following for a long time. I think since they had about maybe two or three thousand subs. Um, uh, so, so quite a while. Uh, back when they were doing really, really, really stupid things like, uh, you know, uh, getting towed in a bathtub down the road by one of their mates in a car. Uh, fantastic stuff. Uh, <laughs> And uh, yeah, I tend. I, I this isn't. I, I don't actually own any YouTuber merch. Um, pre, yeah, I don't own any. Uh, it's not something I usually get. But um, you know, I am a big fan of these guys. Uh, not so much their recent stuff, but their older stuff. And I did want to support them. Um, and I, I wanted to, but I, I haven't been a fan of the, this is probably like the fourth hoodie I think they've released, a fourth or fifth hoodie, um, and I really didn't like any of the previous designs, but I really dug this one, so, um, yeah, this is, and it also, I, I, I must admit, uh, the packaging was so nice that I was like, well, you know what, they've put the effort in, and if I'm gonna get any, this is one I actually like, and, uh, uh, on a few of the other occasions, it was less that I didn't really like the design, because there was one other I really liked, but more I just missed the drop. So, um, yeah, this one, I was I was on it. I was on the website, like, the second it went live, so no risk of me not getting it. And uh, here we go. So, yeah, I mean, this is... 
<laughs> I feel like fairly obviously very extra for a for a hoodie. Um, it's, it's latched like it opens up. It's like whoa. Well, okay, uh, here's the hoodie. And uh, right, let's put the box away. I'll definitely be using this box for something. What yet? I'm not sure, but definitely something. And then yeah, so there are some stickers. Uh, bunch of stickers there, uh, which I'll use on my laptop case most likely. Um, just bunch of stickers there, and uh, you know I figured if, since I'm showing everything, I might as well show the hoodie. Um, yeah, uh, so it's uh, this is this is sort of it. It's got some uh, lightning down the arms, but mainly uh, I so I don't own a I don't own a purple hoodie, so this would be a nice opportunity to get one of those. And uh, this goes in the dark apparently. And I thought it was pretty cool, so uh, yeah, that's that. And uh, let's move on to the final thing, which is definitely the most impulse buy, and that is uh, Trails of Cold Steel 3 The Legend of Heroes. I have not played a single Trails of Cold Steel game. Um, I hadn't even heard of it until I saw this on the Nintendo website. Um, and you're probably sitting there and thinking to yourself, why on earth, if you haven't even played any of the first two, um, would you, one, buy the third, two, buy the limited edition of the third, and three, not go out and, you know, buy the much cheaper first and second on PS4, and that's, um, well, the answer to most of this is I'm an idiot, but basically, um, I have a really bad habit of, uh, when, so when I buy, like, a more, uh, a less mainstream game, uh, the, the problem that usually happens with that is it's rather difficult to get any sort of merchandise related to that game. Um, <laughs> which uh, which is really annoying because I do like having like little knickknacks and things from, from various games that um, I can, you know, have. So like, you know, for things like Overwatch, for example, that, that doesn't, like back when I enjoyed that game, uh, I was, I was uh, you know, that, that wasn't an issue. I could have got much of that at, at any time, um, though I did buy the limited edition because, uh, as I say, I'm an idiot. But in this case, um, I, <laughs> I would wager there is not a great deal of merch out there for this game. And if I ended up really, really liking it, then I'm pretty sure I would have been kicking myself for not uh, getting this. And at the end of the day, if I really, really don't enjoy it, um, then I'll just go ahead and sell it. Um, you know, it's a limited edition of a game. I'll make most of the money back. I'm not expecting to make it all back if I open it and play it, but you never know, I might. Um, so yeah, that's sort of the logic there, or the, the logic, the lack thereof, I suppose, more accurately. So let's go ahead and crack this open. Uh, uh, also, I suppose another big reason is I'm a, I'm a total sucker for steelbooks now. Oh, um, so I guess, yeah, uh, I, I did, obviously I did look into this game uh, before I bought it. I didn't literally just go, okay, buying it. Um, but, so it, I know it's a, uh, it's a JRPG, uh, and it's, it's a, it's a pretty traditional JRPG, but I've been told the story is very good. Um, and, uh, it has full summaries for, uh, the Trails of 1 and 2 games in here, because they're actually made by a different publisher, um, so they can't really <laughs> run out and tell you, oh yeah, go buy these from a different games developer, so let's have a look. That is well tessellated. I should also say, I really don't know what comes in here. <laughs> I didn't really look. Uh, I just saw Big Box and I saw, like, a plush. That's all I remember. Um, so the box is very nice, actually. Okay, um, there's a lot of things here. Let's start off with this, which would be the game. Um, so, yep, that's the game. Let's see if there's anything cool in here. Probably not, but you never know. This is extracurricular edition. I also have no idea if there are some special cool things in the extracurricular edition. Um... Yes, there are. It says it comes with 26 bonus cosmetic DLCs, a 20-page mini art book, and an animated lenticular card. So presumably that's inside here. Yeah. Well, wow, okay. Um, so apparently Trails of Cold Steel 4 is coming out in 2021. So I suppose if I enjoy this, then that'll be, that's good to know. Um, there's my lenticular thingy. Um, cool. I mean, if, again, if I enjoy the game, then I'll be very happy I got this. And then... Here's uh, the oh, here's the little art book, mini art book. Though of course I would assume this thing here is a proper art book, but that's cool. That's you know I mean 
for actually, you know, games nowadays don't actually come with stuff like this, so that's nice to actually see. Uh, and one of the reasons I like sort of smaller games as well. And then of course we've got um, this here, and there's a, a very, very nice um, alternative cover here, which I'll actually get out. And uh, this is much nicer, in my opinion, than the standard one. Let's slide this in. Uh, da -da. So that's what the uh, other cover looks like there. So yeah, I, I think that's uh, much nicer. So that's the uh, that's the game. Uh, next, um, this is the steel book. And uh, yeah, as I said, I'm a, I'm a complete sucker for steel books. Um, if your game comes with a steel book, I'm so likely to just buy it out of habit. Oh, actually, there is one more thing I bought for myself. Um, yeah, actually, before I keep going, so I've owned a copy of The Witcher 3 for ages um, on PS4. Uh, I haven't even played it yet. Um, I still need to, um, which, you know, obviously I shouldn't be running around buying other games, but I went and bought myself the Steelbook um, for the game from the limited edition. Um, so, yeah, like, I, I really, I really, really like Steelbooks. Uh, they are very nice. Okay, I'll, I'll do with that. Right, anyway, um, I don't think there's anything in here, but, uh, yep, so here's the inner art. Um, which obviously no one cares about because no one sees it, but here's the outer and it looks, uh, I think, really, really nice. Logo on the back, uh, this really, really cool front here. Big fan of this. Um, and yeah, like I said, total suck up steelbooks, so that uh, that will be uh, that will be getting used. All right, um, let's see what's in. I, th I don't think there's anything in here, actually. I think this might just be a... Yep, that's just to make it um, all fit together really nicely. Okay, then we have got, um, this is, I assume, the plush that I saw, um, and I think it's like the mascot or something? Uh, yep. It's kind of stuck there. Uh, yep. There it is. Uh, I'm probably just going to leave this in here for now, uh, just in case I don't like the game. Uh, but yeah, um, there it is. If I do like the game, I'll probably end up putting that, uh, on my bed or something, or on my desk, I don't know. Somewhere where I can see it, and then here are the last few things. Let's put the box to the side now. So the first is here this soundtrack, um, which I think it's 20 tracks it comes with. Uh, yeah, 20 tracks, including such classics as Start Line and Morning Refrain. Obviously, I'll have a much better appreciation for. The music when I actually play the game. I'm told the soundtrack is very good though, so I'm looking forward to that. And then we've got some postcards here, and the sort of main event, I suppose, which is the campus dossier, which I imagine is an art book. So let's um, let's have a look at these postcards first. So these are these are high quality, actually. These are very thick. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, I'll just go through these. These are really nice. Uh, really, really nicely designed, honestly. I'm, uh, I'm a big fan of this, actually. Um, I'll, uh, I can see myself putting this up on my wall. Uh, with, you know, a little bit of tack, blue tack. Um, yeah, those are nice. like those. Um, obviously, no one will ever send any of these things that come as postcards as postcards. Um, I don't know why they don't just call them mini posters and then like just you know Not bother wasting ink on the whole back of them because again, no one ever sends these as postcards, but you Never know. I suppose um, this this might be more thematic for the actual game um, Having them be postcards here, but I know like a lot of games like overwatch for example Like th there's no thematic reason for that. For th there was none for that limited edition to come with um, To come with that kind of stuff. So uh, anyway, all right, let's have a look uh, at, I assume this is just an art book. Um, ca uh, there's an empire map, characters, image board, and enemies. And this book contains spoilers. So I'm not going to look at this. I'm <laughs> I'm basically just going to flick through for you, uh, and I'm and I'm actually looking away. So I'm just kind of randomly going through this. So uh, yeah, you trails of uh, fans are probably. Uh, thinking this is very cool, and I hope I will too. Uh, and hopefully there's nothing JRPG -E in here that will get me demonetized. That would be unfortunate. And there we go, and uh, yep. 
that's that. This is a uh, this is very nice actually. This is a very nice art book. I'm a big fan of this, um, just from the quality and the, hopefully the art is good and uh, given space to breathe. But there we go. That is uh, that is my uh, awful irresponsible purchasing decisions. Whoa, hello. You can see quite the mess I left in the back there. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Um, more normal style videos will be coming soon. Um, I've given Shadowverse a try. I may make some videos on it because um, I don't really think there's much of a YouTube presence for Shadowverse, surprisingly. Um, certainly the presence there is, I was not a fan of. There was a, this one, like, the biggest Shadowverse YouTuber I think he was, Ig or something, um, was, like, doing card reviews with, like, Twitch chat open and stuff, and I really wasn't a fan of that, but, um, yeah, um, maybe, perhaps, once I get decent at the game, I'll, uh, I'll do something, or I might, um, record my journey from absolute garbo to reaching Master or Grandmaster or something, we'll see. Uh, but I figured I'd let you guys know that Shadowverse is a game I've tried, and it's pretty fun. I tried it back in the day, but um, I'll make a whole separate video about that. But yeah, um, hope you guys had a good Christmas, hope you have a good new year, and I will see you guys in the uh, next video. Cheers.